I was certainly pleased with the effort and uh, how hard I thought our team played tonight. It was um, it was a good hockey game. It was a, it was a really good hockey game, and they're a great team, and I think we're a great team, and uh, we just didn't get the bounce, you know, that we needed tonight. Their goaltender was excellent, and uh, you know, I think that's what it came down to. When you have when you have two, I think, pretty good teams, and uh, both teams play pretty well, sometimes it's just a bounce, and they kind of got one on their first goal, went off our skate and up in the air, and I don't think Robbie ever saw it, but. Uh, Robbie made some great saves and Lacuvi made some great saves and you know the power plays it was a very well officiated game uh, it's a good college hockey game and unfortunately you know we didn't come out on top uh, but I think you know our team showed a lot of character I think we prepared well this week and I think we performed well we just didn't get the result we wanted questions Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, we one stretch there, we were able to roll four lines and, and really hem them in their own zone for a long time. And uh, that was encouraging to watch, you know, because that's an area that we've been working on, trying to sustain more offensive zone play. Because when you're doing that, you don't have to play defense and you can really tire out the other team. And uh, I think that's a pretty good observation that we certainly – you know, we talk all the time, our power play didn't score, but we, we got a lot of momentum off it, and that carried over into some five-on-five -five play. I remember you talking after the UMass game about how disappointed you were with the players in the second and third period, mm -hmm. the first period. So tonight was almost the exact opposite. You picked up the momentum after the first period, the third and third. Yeah, and I actually think we had a pretty good first period. You know, they had uh, – we, we kind of blew a coverage on their second goal coming back, and <laughs> – uh, and on the first one, like I said, it was it was pretty harmless play. He just threw it, went off. I think it went off David Drake's skate and went like went way high in the air. And Robbie never saw the thing. But uh, yeah, we we played well. We we played. You know, I could look the team in the eye and say that we played a sixty minute hockey game this year, and uh, we haven't always done that. And tonight we did. We just didn't get the result we were looking for. No question. Uh, he, he made some big saves, but so did their guy. <laughs> I mean, he was, uh, you know, if some of ours go in, it could be a different game as well. But, you know, I think also playing in front of the home crowd, that was our best crowd that we've had all season long. They certainly gave us a lot of energy tonight, and I'm hoping to see more and more crowds like that because I think our players uh, gave them an effort that's worthy of watching. Spencer, can you describe your goal? Yeah, it was uh... – Good entry into the zone. Um, Casper got the uh, puck on the wing and um, made a good play to Ben. And Ben made a great, great play, slid it over. And I was lucky enough to get a stick on it the last second. And uh, I couldn't even tell where it went in on the net. But it was great play by um, everyone on the ice. I think I was the last guy on the ice to touch the puck. So I mean, they all made great plays to make it all happen. Couldn't tell uh, whether or not you were airborne. Yeah, I could. I just tried to, um, you know, get anything on it I could, and I kind of made a last-second effort and dove. And like I said, I don't. E I didn't even see where I went in. Yeah, I think when you when you come into the zone and you're always looking for a spot to, um, you know, you're always trying to guess kind of where the puck's going to go to put yourself in the best place to score a goal and. Um, I just tried to, like, you know, get to that area and get body position on him and get a stick on the puck. Uh, he 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 played really well uh, tonight. We we did a lot of good things offensively. Our forecheck I thought was really solid, and we did a good job of getting some pucks on the net. So, um, you know, he just seemed really sharp, and I think we could probably still do a better job of uh, getting some traffic on him so he can't see some of those pucks, but. Uh, he played really well tonight. Yeah, yeah. No, it was a 
pretty frustrating there at, uh, at a certain point. We had a lot of chances in that second period near the end, especially that, um, you know, if, you know, if I can score a couple of those, it would have been a different game. So I got to make sure I, you know, try to bear down and get a couple of those in. Well, it was a uh, hard-fought hockey East game, as it usually is on the road. Um, just happy that we got two points. It got uh, very difficult there at the last 10-minute mark of the second period and the first 10 of the third, and obviously uh, penalties played a big part in that. Um, you know, we, I thought we were playing really well early. You know, we got off to a good start, got the goal early. I thought we were controlling the play. And I thought we got a little sloppy towards the end of the first, but I thought, you know, the second period, the first 10 minutes, we did a good job, and then the penalty started, and... You know, they, even though they didn't score at stretch, they gained a lot of momentum and gained a lot of life. And uh, we were on our heels a little bit. Uh, almost survived the last power play they had, but they, they make a great play and score to make it 2-1. to one. And I thought after that we did a pretty good job. I thought we played well after that. Um, couldn't get a power play goal. And we just couldn't get that third goal. You know, I thought if we had made it 3 to nothing, uh, the complexion of the game might have changed. But uh, give them credit. They played hard. They got a good team. Um, and, you know... Uh, Kind of the game I expected. I expected somebody to have their goalie pulled with a minute to go. Made some big saves, boy. He made some great saves, played very well. Um, you know, when we saw it in practice uh, throughout, the, throughout the week, and we've seen it all, all year so far, and he's just, he's been a little bit of a victim of circumstances. You know, Jake's played really well, and, uh, but, you know, we gave Connor the start because he's earned it, and uh, he answered the bell. Well, we, you know, we feel very comfortable with all our goalies and we're fortunate that we've got three of them and, you know, two of them have played so far and, you know, I know that Mike's got two really good goalies as well. So, you know, um, you know it's nice to have depth. You know, we need it. You know, we're a little thin up front right now and, um, you know, our decor has been, been healthy, which is nice, but, you know, injuries are part of the year, part of the, part of the game and, you know, it's... Uh, you know, like I said, we've got two very, we've got three very good goalies, and two of them have played so far. Well, it's a tough bench to see the game on. You know, I mean, a lot happens. I didn't see a lot of the penalties. I mean, it's it's you know, it's a small bench, and the angle's not great. So you know, we took six again. Um, you know, our league's calling it tighter than the other leagues. I will say that. And I'm not being critical. I'm not saying that's good or bad. That's just the reality of it. I mean, we had six penalties. They had five. So they had six shots. We only had two on ours. I thought we had more than two shots. But, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. We didn't get a goal, and they did. So we're going to have to uh, – we just got to be better on a power play. Well, they're doing a good job understanding their responsibilities. And I was saying to Brian coming in here, I mean, the frustrating part is, you know, I think we've given up seven power play goals this year and four of them have been off the initial rush, you know, and it's just, it's frustrating because, you know, we do a good job and then all of a sudden we make one breakdown and they, they bury it. So, you know, we've got to, we've got to be smarter. We've got to be better and uh, on, on our forecheck and be more consistent. But, you know, we almost got out of it. I mean, I think they scored their goal with about 10 seconds to go on their power play and, it was disappointing. He played well. He's played well all year long. He plays hard. He's smart. Uh, he's fast. He sets the, the tempo. Um, and it's nice to see a guy get his first college goal. Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, I haven't even thought about it, so. Yeah, I mean, that guy made great saves early. But like I said, we couldn't get that third goal. I really liked where we were, the way we were playing the first 30 minutes. You know, we were playing at a pace. We, we had a physicality to our game, and we were playing smart. And then I thought we got we got impatient, you know, and you know maybe to our players it felt like it was more than a 2 nothing game, but I certainly knew it wasn't. And, you know, we got away from doing the things we were doing, and they upped the ante, and we were on our heels, and they took the play to us. And that, you know, the ebbs and flows of a hockey game, they're a good team. I mean, that, that, that's going to happen. But, you know, you can't, you know, you can't alter the way you're playing just because you're not scoring goals. You got to keep playing the right way when you're sustaining offensive zone time.
Thank you. Thank you.